Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss and welcome back to Deep Dreams. What are we doing back here and why have you got such a weird thumbnail, Flair Bliss? Well, I'll explain that at the end of the episode. But first of all, we have some worlds that we have not yet explored and some places which we have yet to uncover in the last time in places in which we did go to. So we've got here a girl sitting on the bed at night time. And we got a pastel altar. So this turns us into pastel. And that does that. But there's one thing which I haven't found this game, which the wiki states. But I'm going to leave it until 0.02 update, which I also said that I'll leave the rest of the game to 0.02 <laughs> in part two. But you know these things how these things go, you know, it's just one of those things. Okay, so. Next up, we are going to go to the bath house. This place is filled with the tears of mine of how many times I've got lost in this place trying to find another place to go to. It's apparently another world in which you can access through here, but you never know with these things. There we go, that's what I was after. This place looks quite, with the music as well, it's quite Egyptian themed sort of way, if you can get me. Like, this all looks like it belongs in a very, very hot place. Hmm. Nothing here, so there must be another entrance somewhere within this place. Yeah, in the past of it, in the previous video, sorry, um, the developer kindly contacted me to say that there are things which I've missed in this game, and the fact that only about half of the game I've actually explored. So we've got a new system which I can probably only access in the real world on the computer. So is there anything else here while we are here? Oh my God, there's so many different keyholes as doors. Like, there doesn't like a keyhole to you, don't it? Many keyholes of this place. Many secrets intertwined within these world of Umaniki fan games. Perhaps we should just take a bath and just cool ourselves down for more rest. Okay, so it's getting a bit darker, which means that we should be somewhere close, right? Mm, oh, another dark place. We could just simply turn on our glass effect and then be able to do that. But nope, we're not doing that. I want to be able to see if it's an important place or not by not simply doing that. Okay. Oh. Hmm. A combination of swampy and a garden of sorts. Like, everywhere that's tiled reminds me of a garden. Like a mansion garden. But everything else reminds me of, like, a swamp. All of Shrek's around here. And he's gonna just chuck us out of his swamp. In, only in deep dreams can that be possible. <laughs> Get out of my swamp. How dare you enter my swamp. Okay, let's, let's drop the memes aside. This is an Umaniki fan game, not Shrek. Evan resorts back to Shrek, by the way. Also, at the time of this recording, on Twitter, Shrek 2 was trending. Random fact. But it was trending in the UK. And what a marvellous set of films they are. Like, so, <laughs> they are highly praised, but they're still so underrated. Like, that film can teach you that even a quote-unquote hideous monster can find happiness in life. That doesn't involve shredding people into two uh, parts. <laughs> also, shredding people into pieces, but I'm like, nah, that's a bit too morbid. But again, even too... More than one piece is morbid. No pieces. What the hell? Is that even a thing? Okay. Back to this game. So yeah. I also agree with someone else who commented in the video. But this game is incredibly pretty. Incredibly cute. With its own unique charms in its own ways. Like, it's not taking inspiration from, let's say, horror games. Such as... I don't know any other RPG Maker horror game, but it's it's what you would call quite a morbid 
game generally your Mediki fan games are, but this one is like a light-hearted one, which I think I pointed out in the last episode, where the light themes of this game reminds me a bit of Ultraviolet, which I call a very high praise, because I love Ultraviolet. Like, that's one of my favourite Omaniki fan games ever, period. But, okay, where where do we need to go in here? Oh, it seems that we managed to go underneath that, okay. Uh, so, our next destination is a bit unknown. Maybe go this side and see where we can go. Somewhere around this jungle, this also mighty jungle slash swamp, we will be able to go where we need to go. But right now, I don't think our... Great. What we did there, folks, is a gigantic circle. And if you know me, I love circles, because we keep doing the same thing over and over again. So let's see what is up here, and hopefully we'll be able to be one second closer to Christmas without a second at the same second of it being agony. I'm kidding. Even when you're lost, except in Umatuki, it's really jovious because you get to see the loveliness around you. The lovely environments and themes. But in Matuki, at times, it feels like you're not really looking at anything. Except maybe the abyss. Hello. What are we doing here? Ooh, this is nice. And, whoa, this is confusing. What's all these stairs? And which way do we go? Um... Okay... This place doesn't seem like it goes anywhere. Like, you think these stairs are somehow... Oh wait, hold on. Are we even climbing up altitude? Hmm, that is a bit bizarre. Like, I don't think the floor changes. No. There has to be something in here. Because you can't just lead us to a random building for no reason, right? Like, what is the mystery behind all this and with the stairs? But you probably think if you go down enough stairs, something will happen. Or go up enough stairs, something will happen. But it looks like we're not really hitting anything here. Hmm. Unless there's something else hidden in here. If we light the way, no, no lighting the way, not a single chance of that. Hmm, no changes. So there has to serve something, but there's nothing visibly there for you interact with. So it's either you need to go in there. It could also be that there's a certain chance when you enter that building that an event will happen. Like, there are those few things in Omaniki games where it's not like something you activate, but it's just by RNG. Like, a certain event happens, or a jump scare appears on your screen, which is also an event in its own way. But you get what I mean. It's random. But what else is random is, I'm sure there are more places within this forest which we can go to. We hit the edge of the map here, but there's nothing else. There's not really any path south, like that could really take us anywhere. Any path south of here? Maybe it's like a very, maybe it's within one of these gaps in the trees, but yet we can't seem to find it. Hmm. There's a sneaky little gap somewhere which you can venture through, like one of these. Nope. Any path short enough can be exploited. If you just wang yourself in tightly enough, maybe you can. Okay, maybe not. Not in this lifetime. Not here, not now, not in this lifetime. Maybe there is. But again, that's the fun of these games, really. You're going on a wild adventure with no set destination. But the journey itself is part of the wonder of it. Actually, I think it's almost all of the wonder of a journey, really, is the actual journey itself. It's not 
the start or the end point. But it's the journey which you take yourself through. Okay, so I missed this little avenue here, which I think is very important. It's the only way to access the deepest and darkest secrets of um, Marianne's mind. Very good. Oh, I was about to say Amanda. But who the hell is Amanda? Somebody with quite similar spelling. Not really similar. Got an A in it. I think that's the only similarity. Oh, we've got another entrance here. Oh, okay. So it's like the other one, but... Hello. We've got Vortex. Hey, now. That's a nice little ability to have right there. So what does the Vortex do? Let's be warped to the... Ah, that's very handy. Although... With the number of doors in this... Actually, yeah, with the lack of the doors in the Nexus, I think it would be viable to have... Uh... An ability that allows you to travel back to set. Pl what? Wait, which way do we? Which way do we come from? Hold on, which way do we come from? I sure as hell did not come through there. Honestly, like maybe a very no. Like that couldn't be it, right? Like the path just. Ends? Oh, maybe it doesn't end. <laughs> I'm being silly now. So there's somewhere south left. So is there going to be anywhere south right? I am sensing something around here. Like I played this game yesterday to get like a few of the areas in which the developers commented down on our previous video down myself but that vortex ability and their locations and also that um that north entrance i didn't manage to find both so i'm kind of glad i just took a few more routes around here and discovered this vortex ability oh we're, we're pink and purple oh no 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 the worst of I'm joking. How do I say about the worst of colors? Pink is literally the, the more, it's the brighter version of my favorite color, for goodness sakes. I mean, look at my channel avatar. It's got purple written all over it. Except the candle wax itself, that's white. I mean, where do you find purple candle wax, for goodness sakes? Okay, oh, uh, can I get over there? Can I get to that strange creature over there? It looks like it could. I could by going through. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bit of a conundrum here. It would look like that can connect to that other little line, but no. Life isn't that easy when you're me. You managed to muck up the most simplest of things. I'm kidding. As I say, this is part of the exploration, but there is at least one other route in which we can take through here. And it leads to somewhere which I don't really fully understand, really, because there's nothing really there. I think, like, I think there might have been, like, a, uh, it's not an altar, but it's something else which you can change your wallpaper with or something. What do you call it? System? There we go. It is a system. I think it was, anyways. A lot was going on yesterday. I didn't record yesterday because of new announcements in the UK about you know what virus. And unfortunately the fact that in my part of the UK, where I live, families can't get together to spend time Christmasing. You know, that lovely thing that we do every year, gathering with family and friends, just having a lovely time, celebrating. Can't do that this year. The only exception are support bubbles, which is literally only my grandmother. So, with grandmother, it is just me, mum, dad, and grandmother this Christmas. And then everyone else that was meant to come over here because of previously being tier 3. We made up 8 people in the house, rather than 4 people in the house. Okay, I swear there was somewhere else which we can go in here, but I am lost as all hell right now. I think this is the hardest part of the game, just trying to navigate around here. But there's nothing else to really go by, unless I do that. 
bug that I found in my spare time, which involves some stairs, diagonal stairs, and a certain ability. But I'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, hmm. No, I, I think it would be technically impossible for a person who is not the developer to be able to explore everywhere in an Umaniki fan game, especially one the size of this one. Like, these maps are pretty big in this game. And they're not Umatuki big, but they are definitely very big to the point where I think that some inspiration was taken from Umatuki's grand design and not put into here, but just kind of inspired to be created like how it is. Different themes, obviously. But I think at this point in time, there's definitely more in this forest, but there's so many twists and turns in here in which it's kind of luck based in where you're sometimes not able to actually find places. So, oh lovely. What dicks? We're now put back into the next. Okay, our next objective is the cathedral. Along this part of the cathedral, there are several doors, but one of them, at least one of them, I didn't even investigate. So that was very handy of me. And also, there's this guy right here just sleeping. I sure hope that is sleeping and not dead. Right? I hope so. I already hope so, okay. Uh, not this door. Oh, there is a lovely, what would you call this? An aquarium inside a garden with graffiti on the wall. But it looks like there's a door over there so you can access this place from that side, but how do you do that? Hmm, this grass is too big to be able to go through. This is incredibly tall grass. In which we are unable to see over. Okay, so I think this is the one. Okay, yeah, this butterfly. Get system kaleidoscope. So that is something we definitely missed. Otherwise, that wouldn't have appeared on our screen there. Get kaleidoscope. Um, I think there is another alleyway or something which we can go through here. I think. I don't think this is it, but there is like another entrance to this cathedral which we could go through. Not the one to the train station, but one for another location entirely. But there's, but there's the factor of finding it. I've checked everywhere in the cathedral. There are another entrances and exits aside going to this train station and one going out of the cathedral to the, to the world in which you originally went in, which had all those golden floorings and stuff like that. Okay, this train station. I completely missed the fact that there are stairs in this place. Like, I did not even think that this train station would be big. I literally went down and that was the end of it. But no, there's a whole plethora of doors which I missed out on. So let's go through all of these and hopefully we'll be able to get somewhere. So I'm in a completely different part of this floor. How dare they do that? But there's this. Somehow we can eradicate that one particular NPC. Going through all this yesterday, and it's like that was really weird. Like, how how am I able to eradicate that one particular NPC, but not any other NPC? NPC, not NPC. What would an M stand for? Oh, hello. Um, you're not interactable. I mean, you're following me around, but yet we can't interact with you. Just do that for laughs and giggles, even though it's not funny at all. It's a morbid way of laughing, for goodness sakes. Um, what else is there? Nope. Uh, what about just going up some more floors? Nope. 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 All these doors are L O C K E D. Locked. Did we already go this way? Oh, I've been around this way so many goddamn times. <laughs> uh, you think you're getting somewhere, but no. It's just a big old circle at the end of the day. 
Um, that's one waiting room in the train station. I mean, it's not like we use tr many trains nowadays because of you know what. Um, let's go up the stairs and see what is happening up here then. Uh, what's behind door number one? Okay, nothing's behind door number one because you can't go through door number one or two or three. What about door number... Okay, we can find... We can finally go through a door. Yep. What is this? It's just a, a huge assortment of train track lines where you store trains in a train station. It must be that. Hmm. Concerning. Okay, so another waiting room. But where are the trains to go to? Where is said train? Uh train of thought okay all these okay I'm gonna go there another time I'm gonna explore the rest of this train station just to see what's going on here and if there's nothing else here then we'll definitely go through that door but we seem to go in through so many doors without a mishap but it felt too good to be true oh a garden inside of a train station unless this is of course outside Hmm. Like sometimes you have like little plazas in buildings. Then you have gardens in there and all sorts. Oh. Where? Oh, this is the, the second floor. Hmm. Places without a lucid dream purpose. Okay. So nothing there. Nothing there. What about up? Up here then no uh, gosh which one was it it was somewhere around here yes there we go this door here and up these stairs hmm I wonder why we could why is there a squeaky sound there it's almost like we're not meant to be there <laughs> okay then, enough joking around uh hello We've got Alter Nostalgic, so we're trying to say which we remember a lot. Dresses me in yesteryear's fashions. Okay, we'll do that. And very pretty, we've got a flower hair ornament, which is very nice. So I think that must be it for that, right? No, there's no events going on up there if you try and sit, and you can't sit by her. Oh, that's the only seat there. Why don't you put grass there? I want to join my friend. Our newfound friend. Okay, we can't do any of that. We went up on a rooftop of another building once upon a time, but there is nothing up there. Anywhere else in this train station which we have not yet explored? If not, then I'll be on my merry way and try and find this other train because apparently there's more than one train in this game okay I think we've already been this way but you know going through this lovely circus town of lovely things oh this is another way to the Victorian stairs then I remember that I okay <laughs> Okay, uh, my mind was wandering off there. Like, I was thinking, is that somewhere I've already been before? But yeah, it definitely is. I just didn't come from that side. That's all. Uh, I remember there's nothing in here. Okay. Uh, somewhere else in here, there's another room which we can go to, which will have the weapon effect, I believe. Uh, let's see. Jukebox. And doors at least to the world okay cool lovely days just gotta find that door though without being killed by the enemy NPC which lurks around here but it's just a matter of finding the door itself like okay I think I've already yeah we've just turned in on ourselves <laughs> I love circles you can't actually go up the steps but yet you're trying to get to me I think that's where I need to go but yet you're in the way and I hope you have a terrific Christmas with all those that you love, which is no one. 
Ah, here we go. This is a room with a dual box in it. Hello. So we keep tapping it until something happens. Oh. So like that then, huh? Is that what's going down? Like a distortion effect of sorts. There are some horrifics in here. Okay, we can't interact with any more. Where did the door go? I want to get out of here and pretend that none of this ever happens. Oh. Well, aren't you delightful? Can we go back out? Oh, we're locked in here then. Okay. I think we need to interact with a man. Oh. Oh, jump scary, huh? Hey, you got a pretty face right there. And that's how one wakes up. Okay, we need to go back to them because we've got another door to find them, these stairs. The thing that we love most of all are stairs. There is definitely somewhere new in here which we've not yet explored, but I don't think either of these shadows are interactable. None whatsoever. I think this is it. We've not been up here before. Ah, ha, ha. This place is quite spooky. It's like a hospital, but looks more like an asylum to me over anything else. Look at the walls. Look at the theming. Even in the more light-hearted Umaniki fan games, there are some morbid areas. Okay, let's go through these doors one by one and see what we've got here. Nope, nothing. Just go there for stuff. Um, a bunch of vending machines. I bet you're all out of order as well. I don't care how functional you are on the outside. I think you're all out of order. Every single one of years. Okay, we're picking the second elevator. Don't ask me why, but we're picking up the second elevator. Hmm. Oh, door, door. Through here. What we're looking for is a room like this, but it's darker. If you get my gist, like if we don't have the glassy effect on, we'll be able to know which way we're going. If we find the dark corridor, then we're on the right track. But let's find. Oh, there we go. That's what I was thinking of. Hello. But I think there is also an enemy NPC along this corridor, which is no good. No good whatsoever. Ah, that's the thing we need to look for. So we got altar damage. Let me, let's me let be kill other people. Why would you want to do that? Like, we're bandaged up, but we've got... Is that our eye socket? Like, the innards of your eye? Like, well, I was supposed to say the wiring, but the veins and stuff? Just... Yikes. No thanks. Maybe it's another one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Well, too bad for you. I can defend myself. Oh. What do you think is inside those? Do you think they're like cocoons? Or do you think they just might be a dead person each and every one of those? Okay, let's move on. Oh, gosh. A room with nothing in it. Nothing but a light. Nothing but a dysfunctional light. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's see what's through this way. Oh, there you are. And I totally avoided you and your influences. How dare you think you're better than me, which the case is you're not at all. Who do you think I am? You think I'm someone who needs your help? Absolutely not. No way, Jose. I might be banged up, but as I say, a broken sword can still cut. Anything else in this hospital slash asylum which we need to take note of, or is this... Yeah, this is an endless abyss of sorts. There's two different ways into the darker areas of this hospital. Oh, more vending machines! And guess what? We don't have any money to be able to purchase from the vending machines. So we're just gonna move on with our lives. So... I forgot which one it was, but we need to go back and then we'll go down the first elevator. Oh, there we go, there's the, there's the elevator. Let's, okay, let's go down the first one. See if there's anything down there. Hmm. Apart from my itchy near 
eye skin. That's not even what, what's it, what that's called. <laughs> it's skin near my eye, which is itchy. There we go, that makes more sense. Okay, first elevator presents us with... Is this the same scenario? Oh, no. This dark room was not here before. We did go through enough. Oh, this was a little bit darker. Oh. Hey, now, we've got some juleps around here. That's good. That's real good. Gosh, with the itchies, for goodness sakes. Like, I don't like when I get itchy, but it always happens when I'm recording. Something along those lines. I'm not sure what it's called, but something along the lines of something which happens when you're doing an activity of sorts. And then, just out of the blue, an itch comes along. Hmm. Go up here. Yeah, these worlds are quite large. Oh, stairs! We'll go there later. But there, there are stairs there. Okay, dog. What is going on around these parts, and why have we not yet found the other twain for the twain station? Is it a twain? I'm weave. Oh, hello. Uh, that's supposed to be a a bridge. Looks it looks like, so we can go across this moat. But we can cross this moat, so the moat isn't strong enough to be a moat. Uh, okay. Hello. Oh. We tried interacting with you before. Maybe we need to interact with this one first to then be, be able to connect with that one. Okay, so there's nothing there. Nothing new anyways. Hello, lovely tulips. I think that's what these are, right? Tulips. Comes in a few different colours. White, yellow, red. Orange. I don't know much about flowers, for goodness sakes. All I know is that they're pretty. You, you take me for someone who knows a lot about biology? No. Or chemistry? No. Or even physics? No. Not a great deal. Okay, so where are those stairs? I, I think I've pretty much covered everything here. That house. That makeshift bridge over that makeshift moat you shouldn't be able to go across there if there is like a bridge that enacts a bridge decorative purposes that's probably what it's for or maybe we're just so tall that we can just go over the moat or oh, hello what is along this little alleyway over here ah coned off area in the thumbnail it shows me being able to go behind here and opening those doors, but you can't actually go through the doors, by the way. Uh, I'll show you how I did that when we reach the end of the episode. But we've got a we've got one or two more things that we need to do. One of them involves taking the train. The other train. Apparently, there are two different trains. Which we can go on. So I think for that, we're going to need the Vortex ability. No, wait. We're just going to wake up and be able to save and then be able to come back there. If we catch my drift. Ah, the train's pointing this way, so... Hope... Ah, okay. This is the other area in question then. Lovely. Lovely Dovely. So let's just explore our way through here and see what we can find in this place. So this is like an anthill of sorts. Looking at everything that's kind of surmounted upon this place. Like, lots of grassy area along with a lot of brown, which kind of makes you think of something that has built up over time. Can't be people have built this, because obviously people can't make something which is this lovely. <laughs> it can only be done by nature. Just like looking at different um, uh, nature formations and stuff like that. Like Stonehenge. Like, how would you even think of that, nature? I'm probably false about that. So I probably did put that together. <laughs> oh, dear. Like other formations, like the Grand Canyon, for example. Like, how do rocks form like that? Or in the Arctic, how do ice form like that? Like, 
nature is just so amazing. Even if it's just by um, uh, not by other creatures, but just by the the movement of the earth itself and everything like that. Just beautiful. Nature is so much more beautiful than we could ever be. Sexy? No. Beautiful? Yes. Okay, enough about those kind of antics. Let's move on with our lives. What have we got over here? Uh, nothing much. We've got one more ability to... Sorry, one more alt to find. And that's seven altars, excluding... Uh, get the name right again, Mariana's default ability, which allows her to turn back into herself before even uh, entering into the lucid dream. Dear Umaniki protagonists, how do you lucid dream? Because I would like to have one of my own. Yours truly, Flare Bliss. I don't know. It just takes a very, very imaginative creative minds to be able to do that which I apparently do not have because I never have lucid dreams I've, not, I've never had one in my entire life for over 27 years I've lived not one night I've ever had a lucid dream I've had dreams but none of which I could actually control like everything was out of control out of my control out of anyone's control, really. Anyways, uh, okay, well, so we're back at there. Wait, where are the rest of the train tracks? Maybe go underneath the anthill. Quote, question mark. Question mark, anthill. We really are lost in this place. There's one thing about this game that has too many of, I think, which are too many mazes. Like, it's, <laughs> I was about to say amazing. But no, that pun's been used too many times to describe mazes. Oh, there's a bridge over there. We can interact with that bridge. Hmm. Where else can we go? Anywhere else around here that we can go? Maybe not. Uh, excuse me. I do not mean to yawn, but yawning is just inevitable. When you are a human being, and well, other creatures really, a lot of creatures you want to show tiredness and stuff like that, to show that you need to go to bed earlier at night. Well, it's nearly Christmas. I can treat myself again, again. So where do we go from here? Are we? Do we keep going around in circles? I think that's what we're doing right now. We keep going around in circles. You know, I've explained before, folks, I don't like circles. We should keep keep doing the same thing over and over again. I love circles. So we're we're back at a we're back at the beginning. Hey, that's the one we want to go towards somewhere which doesn't lead us to another ant hill. Okay. Let's cross this bridge and see what we can find amongst these parts. Okay, so it looks like there's broken bridges, so let's try and find a way to get across to the right side of this lake slash pond slash ocean. Yeah, that's right, I said ocean. What are you going to do about it? Nothing, okay. <laughs> you could leave a like, a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Plan coming more Omaniki fan games when games are released in English because there are a lot of Omaniki fan games out there, but the problem is a majority of them are released in Japanese and Japanese only, which is the same language, sorry to say. <laughs> and like, I know these games have very, very minimal dialogue, but I would like to know what this is and what that is and what this says and what this one says stuff like that i'd rather not look at a bunch of symbols on the screen i'm sorry but that's how i think of a japanese language just a bunch of symbols not lettering at all bunch of symbols but then again from their perception our language might look like a bunch of symbols and stuff so it's all about your perception at the end of the day what you've learnt as a child to where you are now 
And for me, uh, learning English was hard enough as my primary language. Imagine trying to do English as your second language, because apparently that's one of the hardest languages to do as your secondary language. Isn't it amazing how topics change from uh, Shrek to now <laughs> to their languages? It's funny how conversations take a turn. Or, well, I think in this case, a more academical turn. Oh, hello, there's somebody there. Uh, why do you have a Jason mask on? Is a question I need to ask you. And that question is, what are you doing here, mate? Oh, another ant hill. Are you serious? Oh, dreamy. Okay, we'll explore the rest of this area first, and then we go to that kind of oceanic area, aquatic area. Looks like somewhere within the deep blue sea. Wait, what? Okay, this way. <laughs> I'm sure it was somewhere else. I couldn't quite fathom out where, which way to go. Okay, then let's go up this abyss and then see what we're dealing with. If we can, then it's apologies. Okay, here we go. This is the one. Okay, dokey. Okay, it's getting brighter. Obviously, as you climb altitude, it gets brighter. Hello? Not enough money for purchase? What do you mean by that? Fine then. Time for some damage. No, okay, we can't. We can't damage this enemy amp, we say. Maybe we need money to get from, get what he has. Great, another obstacle. <laughs> Where can we, f oh yeah, we can find NPCs at the train station, that's right. That's right. But what can we purchase from our new friend? Qu question mark, friend. Don't think these little fireflies are NPCs in which we can kill. They look really small to kill. No, we can't. I think you can kill by pressing space. It's how you in, it's how you make abilities work in this game. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. Holding space does that. But this ability is the key to doing the, uh, the bug that I put in my thumbnail earlier. But let's look at this first. Hmm, this is lovely. Little wave over here. Oh, come on, stop with the mazes. There's so many of them. Okay, this really is an anthill scenario because it looks like we're really in something. Gosh, so many maces. <laughs> it's not a maze. <laughs> uh, no, what's the contrary of amazing? I was saying amazing, the contrary of amazing. So, oh, this is a lovely view, though. It looks like we're on the moon. Oh, we're on a moon of Jupiter's, if you don't recognize the line of that planet. And there is the red eye of Jupiter. Holy Christ. Over the bridge. That tree there. What's up with this? Oh. Whoa. Well, it looks like we're somewhere else now. I did not expect that at all. For some other reason, I thought we were going to wake up after doing that. Okay, so where on earth are we right now? Can we put the pain? We cannot put the pain on these guys. Like, we're interacting with them, but there's nothing happening. There's no weapon effect that is happening by implying the hold space bar down on these enemy, I mean, on these NPCs, they're not enemies. I mean, some of them could turn into enemies if we dare try to damage them. But I think this is a place where you would find the last altar. Because it was a very blue altar. And look at everywhere in here right now, it's very blue, don't you think? Hmm. 
lovely. Absolutely delightful. This is a lovely world, actually. Very, very aquatic and dreamy. Sea mushrooms. And what are these are? Sea spirits. Um, okay, where do we go from here? Where do we go? Hmm. Also, green and blue in here. Green representing seaweeds and jellyfishes. Blue representing whatever they are bouncing around. Stuff like that. Okay, can I. Can I get something? There's no way we can make purchases because we don't have any money. Maybe it's for a future update of this game. Question mark? Right, nope. Nope, nothing there. Nothing. Meh. What can we do in here? Which way do we go? I'm sure there's something which we can get in here. Like they wouldn't just put us put us in here for no reason. Jumping in that pool of water. Which I totally did not expect. But what I am expecting right now is deja vu. Hmm. These are mysterious and sus. But mainly sus. But also mysterious. But also sus. Huh, <sighs> dearie me. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Oh, or this maybe. No? Okay, I thought that there should be a door. A hidden door to a hidden realm. Which is also a hidden world inside a hidden realm in that hidden door. Lots of hidden stuff. That's the thing we need to get to. But of course we need to get there first. And I think this is the way. Believe it or not. Is this it? No. Oh, come on. You look so unique. How do we get... Oh, my goodness. I, I, I really feel like giving up at this point in time. I'm not going to lie. There's definitely something in here. But I feel like my head is going to explode if we try and suss out the... Um, or figure out the mystery behind this place. Get out of the way! NPC! I wish I could eradicate you, but I cannot, because his damage effect does not work. Or maybe it doesn't work on aquatic creatures. So, what is our plan now? I'm going to explore around here for just a few more minutes, just see if there's anything else unique that looks like that huge aquatic creature that we saw just then. But if not, then I'll be exiting this place, because there's nothing down here. Like, there's no altars. Like, there are seven altars to collect. And one of them is gluttonous. Mariana turns into blue jelly. And you'd think that with a lot of blue down here, you'll be able to find that blue jelly effect. Altar, sorry. But no. Not down here. <laughs> no, no. You think that'd be too simple, but... This is not the case at all. Okay, folks. I think this is just for aesthetics. There was no way of getting out of here because it was a one-way trip. So, we're going to wake up. And... Aside the spider lily system. And the gluttonous jelly effect what i want to do now is go to the victorian stairs and show you what i mean by that bug which i kept mentioning about this episode that definitely feels like a representation of a cone of sorts wouldn't you think okay why do i think this place is a good place to show this off well we need diagonal stairs to be able to pull this off so what we need is the verdant ability and what we need to do is since this is an ability which activates within a few seconds what we need to do is hold it whilst we're going up the stairs and then literally we can go through everything 
Like, I didn't want to do this at the beginning of the episode because I feel like I would just literally take advantage of everything that this glitch has to offer. This glitch slash bug. And it feels very exploitive and very horrible to the developer as well for doing this kind of thing throughout the entirety of a video. Like, that would just be very, very silly and cheap. So, I think this definitely needs to be something that is fixed so that uh, if there is a way in which it stops you from going up the stairs, then that could be a possibility. But right now, like you can't even go diagonally. You have to go up, down, up, down, up, down. Because usually you can go diagonally up the stairs. So, okay, this is the jukebox area. Now, as you can see, we're now part of the jukebox. <laughs> Oh my goodness sakes, I feel so terrible, uh, no, 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 okay, what about Vortex, let's just go back and then see what else we can do, like it won't work with other abilities like Vortex, it needs to be something which we need to do while we're moving, uh, nostalgic, <laughs> like can we even go up these stairs or not, or... No, you can't because there's no function to it, I think. Um, no, there's nothing like that. Uh, what about... <laughs> like, this just feels so cool. Like, no. I don't want any of it. Oh no, our character's stuck going upstairs. <laughs> the combination of this glitch and that is now... Oh, we can't even... <laughs> we can't even press escape to go to the menu. That's that's what this glitch has done. Oh no, I can't even save now. Oh, I feel so bad. I didn't realise the combination of uh, that glitch and then trying to climb ladders really did that number. Okay, folks. I think we've had enough fun doing stuff that we shouldn't be doing in a game <laughs> okay on a serious note though i really love the aesthetics and themes that are going on around this game and i hope that within 0.02 update there's more that comes out of it like literally but i think that and this is something which the developers also said is that in the instructions which i can't actually view right now because of this glitch um there needs to be something included which tells a player that in order to activate an ability they need to hold the space bar down because usually it's you just press shift or one of the numbers on the keyboard but in this game it's holding down space bar but that same function is what also allows that verdant ability to be able to then produce that glitch when you interact with diagonal staircases so that's the thing but thank you all so much for watching guys this has been Deep Dreams, and we shall see each other in the next part when Point O Two releases. I don't think there is much else in this game in which I can explore through. Like, this this time for real, I definitely feel that there's not much else I can explore. And if there is a place I can explore which I haven't been through yet, then it's not worth one video for one part of the game. Well, I could just view like 20 different parts of the game. But thank you so much for watching guys and take care of yourselves.